2019 Farm Progress Show is in the books as a record setter for new product introductions. Many companies will actually wait for the Farm Progress Show to pull off the wraps on field equipment for the very first time. WCI3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. Progress Executive Editor Willie Vogt shared his scorecard for hot new farm equipment introduced at the Farm Progress Show. The case AFS Magnum 400, which was on the lot, but we were forbidden from discussing it until Tuesday morning when the release came out. Then I'm over at Kloss, and this is a tractor I actually saw in Germany. It was on their lot, and that is that uh, 900 DT, the uh, basically another track tractor with wheels. That is the first row crop version of the Axion tractor that will be in the market in 2020, and it'll have two different width tracks, I've been told. So it's very exciting. It was shown as a prototype, but I've talked to the company, and they're ready to bring it out in 2020, and they're excited. And the, big, the magic word there is row crop. So the FET 900 tractor, which was introduced just right for this show, like its big brother, the 1000, are the first two fent tractors that are really built for the North American row crop broadacre market. Then you got big combines, the Kloss 7008, 30,000 series combine. The biggest of those combines, 510 bushel grain cart. So where do you put 510 bushels of corn when you're running that grain machine? And you want to keep that combine moving all the time? How about a grain cart so big, that new avalanche, I believe it's the 2596 from Unverfirth, but it shows, it's kind of like a, a it's almost like a rolling grain bin. I mean, it's a big grain cart and it that goes back to we're trying to farm with less labor in a shorter amount of time and get it done and loaded that's equivalent to two and a half semi trailer trucks that's our report from the farm i'm Stu ellis with wcia3 your local news leader